this is something that's very simple to do um, so this video won't be long I'm gonna show you two ways how to make mock-ups in Canva we're gonna start in Canva um, and I go to create a design and I do custom design which is 10 by 10 so I'm gonna move my face over here and we're gonna do a custom size and I always do a 10 by 10 so once you get to the blank canvas here, I'm gonna scoop me over a little bit more. Once we get over to the blank canvas, go crazy, go wild. This is the design element. I can't tell you how you want to design your items at all. Um, that's your choice and whatever your brand is. But, you know, do something that's in brand with you and something that you, you know, care about, enjoy. But I'm just gonna do an example. Um, just something quick and easy. To show you guys how to do these mock-ups so um, we can do something for along the lines of um, just wording I know a lot of people are big on pictures and sublimation and print thin cut and no shade to any of that it is successful um, I am a huge fan of text um, I still believe that text and writing is king when it comes to designing. When I sell t-shirts at craft markets, the shirts that sell the best are the shirts with text and wording on them. Um, not so much the pictures, uh, the sublimations, the printable HTV. People always go for the text. So um, keep that in mind. Um, so I'm going to do something simple with text. I'm gonna pick a font here that I like. I love this Hugs and Kisses one. It's in a font called Fredoka. I really enjoy it. I'm gonna get rid of this bottom part that says coming your way. And I'm just gonna do something simple. I'm gonna do Dope Black Educator, okay? And make it even, do that, okay? Um, I'm also gonna put an element in there. Um, just because I think that'll be nice. I'm gonna type in a crown. There's tons of options You want to keep it free as possible, especially if you're going to be selling these things on Etsy um, Or even in, to the public you want to try to use as much free things as possible. So I always click on this little adjustment thing filter if you will and then I click on static and then I click on free and then this is going to show me all the free crowns that I can use on this image without getting in trouble with copyright. You do not want to get a cease and desist in your mail. So try to keep that in mind. Okay, this stuff is free. These people who created these things have no problem with you using them. So, okay, I like this one. We're going to click on that one and we're going to change the color because she's white. So turn that black so it can match our theme here and I'm gonna scoot over the wording just a little bit and I'm gonna size her down and then I'm also gonna pivot her there's this little circle here and you click and hold and I'm gonna pivot her a little bit so that it looks like the D is wearing the crown super cute then we're gonna go ahead and start at the top click and hold and it's gonna make a purple square highlight over everything and let go and then we're gonna hit the word group once you hit the word group, it makes the wording and the crown travel with each other. So you don't have to keep adjusting. I think this is great. Once again, this is just an example. You can do whatever you want. Let your desi design freak flag, freak flag fly. So this is what I'm gonna do for the sake of time. So we're gonna go ahead and click share. We're gonna click download and we're gonna download a PNG and we're gonna download it with a transparent background. You are going to need that, especially if you're selling digital products on Etsy. Make sure it's a digital background because if it's not, it could show up in that person's design space or whatever you use. Uh, if they have silhouette or something, it could show up completely like a black square and they won't be able to cut anything and they'll be pretty upset because they spent their money. Um, so make sure you click on transparent background and then we're going to click download. Okay, now that this is downloaded, we're going to go away from this screen. Um, what you can do is just go back over here, create a design, go back to custom size and 10 by 10. Now we are going to make our mockups. Um, two ways to do this. The first way is to go to elements and you're going to type in whatever color shirt you need. I need a white shirt because I made the design black. So I'm going to type in white shirt. 
When you type in white shirt, you get graphics, you get photos, you get frames, okay? You wanna go to photos because it looks more realistic. When somebody gets a mock-up, they want it to, they wanna imagine what it would look like on them, okay? So you wanna go to photos, okay? Um, you can pick whatever you like. There's so many options. The ones with the crown are for pro users, so if you do not have Canva Pro, um, you won't, you'll see them, but if you click on them and try to use them, they're gonna make you pay, so. I recommend Canva Pro, especially if you're going to be going into creative full-time. Um, it's $12.99 a month. I, I don't mind paying for Canva. Canva has paid for itself 10 times over. So just a little tidbit on Canva. I, it's not sponsored, but Canva, please sponsor your girl, okay? Um, so let's pick a picture. This one looks great. Um, I even had some pictures of like teachers um, before, but I really just do not want to go through the process of trying to find them. But so go ahead and center it. Make sure it's nice and centered. Now, this one's going to be tricky because there's folds in this shirt. The shirt is not completely flat, um, but I'm going to show you some tips and tricks that I have used um, to make it look like it's actually on the shirt. So once you have it centered and enlarged, go ahead and head to uploads. You're going to click on upload files and then you're going to click on what you just made to black educator and click open. That's going to upload it to your Canva. And then once it's uploaded, we're going to click on it and boom, it pops up right on top of the shirt. Obviously this is too big. Obviously this doesn't look realistic. So we're going to go ahead and size it down and we are going to go ahead and keep adjusting, you know, until it looks like how you want it to look like lift it up make sure it's not you know anywhere inappropriate make sure it actually looks like it's on the shirt this looks good to me like I said adjust to your liking now the next thing you want to do when you do your mock-ups this way click on the mock-up click on the PNG and then you're gonna go up here to transparency click on transparency and I like to knock it down five to ten notches depending on the design um, I put it at 95. I don't know why, but when you knock that transparency down a little bit, it looks even more realistic on this shirt. And then bada bing, bada boom, there's your first mock-up. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. It is so easy and you can just call it, you know, um, Dope Black Educator Mock 1, okay? Share it, download it, and you do not have to do transparent background for this one because it's a mock-up. So just click download. And then you would go about uploading it to your Etsy or to your website or, you know, on social media so people can have interest in it. Um, but yeah, let's make another one. Or rather, let's talk about the second way you can make a mock-up. The second way you can make a mock-up is with the mock-up app within Canva. Now, I have had Canva Pro for quite some time now, so I do not know if this is only a pro feature, so I do apologize for that. Um, I am gonna look into it and leave it in the box below whether it is a pro feature or not, this mock-up app. But if you don't have the mock-up app, that's okay. I just showed you one way to do it, and that looked really, really good. I was doing mock-ups like that for a very long time. So there's no shame in it. Um, the second way to do a mock-up is to go into the mock-up app. So what you want to do is go over to your left side of the screen and click on apps. And then we are going to type in the word mock-up. Okay, there it is. It's like a little blue square floating. That's the one you want. Okay, once you get into it, they have a ton of mock-ups and ways that you can present this. So for example, let's do another teach teacher person okay um mine was called dope black educator um uh, you can put it on anything um actually some people actually find it funny when you put it you know something incorrect on a mock-up i'm not that girl um because my ocd would drive me crazy but i have seen like strong mom and it's a you know a t-shirt on like a kid like that ain't no strong mom that's a child so some people find it funny but it's not my MO. So, um, strong black educator, look at this fella. Um, perfect. So what are we going to do? We're going to size it. We're going to size it so that it fits into our 10 by 10 square. We're going to center it. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead, go to our uploads and click on our PNG. Take the PNG, click on it and kind of put it over that little 
picture they have of the sky and the grass and click on it until it kind of fades then release the click and you're gonna see this little circle here going boom done no adjusting no transparency no lifting no lowering now I will say I hate the fact that you cannot lift or lower it because sometimes it'd be too low or sometimes it'd be too high um, that's the only thing but the thing about a mock-up is that's exactly what it is it's a mock-up it's not the actual shirt on a person this is something that is gonna save you time I remember when I first started my t-shirt business and I used to beg beg people please take pictures please oh my gosh take pictures and bring them to me take pictures and and tag me in them so that I can use them for my business and people wouldn't do it because most of the time when you make t-shirts for somebody they're not gonna wear it right away or they wore it and it was for an event and that event was crazy and busy and successful or non-successful and they forgot to take the picture and you can't you can't blame them for it it is what it is but 90% of the time I would not get those pictures back and it was very frustrating because you know you want to show people how they look discovering mock-ups was like the greatest thing that ever happened in my business because it gives people at least an idea of what is going on like I would make you know stuff and like just put it like on a layout with just like my logo behind it and yeah that that wasn't working out people weren't really responding to that people respond to mock-ups so I highly recommend making mock-ups but like I said this is one way to do it you can even with the mock-ups app you can even do um, items so let's go ahead and delete this fella thank you so much sir you can do a cup okay here's a mug right here uh, mugs make great gifts and this is definitely something you can sell on Etsy slide that thing over so it's nice and centered head to your uploads grab the PNG same thing click and drag until it fades release it is working on your mock-up there it is that looks so good I would buy that mug <laughs> so yeah the the mock-up app in Canva is really a game changer um, and it's pretty much what I've been using um, but that is it everybody that is how I make my mock-ups in Canva if you have any questions go ahead and leave them in the comment box below um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time for our next Canva Cricut crafting tutorial follow me for more crafting fun bye